So Google has just launched Gemini 3 and it is a huge step up. In today's video, we're showing how you can use Gemini 3 to build out your own custom web applications without knowing coding at all and 100% for free. Now we're actually going over three use cases today, one that's simple, one that's intermediate, and then one that's difficult. So you can see a breadth of ways that you could go ahead and actually leverage this technology in the next few minutes. Now, just as an example, here's two other use cases that we won't be covering this video, but I thought was really cool to showcase. You could build a full application where you could get Gemini to develop infographics for your users. So for example, you could type in here temperature in Canada and it would literally give you this um, infographic, which looks really cool other than the fact that as somebody who actually is a Canadian, it's a bit misleading because it looks like there's tropical jungles all across the southern part of the country, but really it's just like a giant iceberg across the whole thing. And then the second thing is, is that we can generate games over here in a matter of a couple seconds. So if you wanted to go ahead and generate uh, games, you could go ahead and do that straight through um, Gemini as well. But specifically, we're building out three separate use cases. And in order to get started, we're going to head over to aistudio.google.com slash apps. And if you haven't done so already, you will need to create a free account with Google. Okay, awesome. And the first use case that we're talking about here is how we can clone a website. So for instance, if you've ever come across a site that you really like and you want to copy, instead of having to reverse engineer it and create it from the ground up, what we could do is we could literally just take a screenshot of that existing website and then jump, uh, paste that right into Gemini 3 and just ask it, for instance, to um, create a pricing page like this for a form builder builder uh, SaaS app with three different pricing levels. And just essentially the key here is just to copy the exact style. And what it will do is it will go to work for us and generate something very close to that, that style that we just wanted to copy. <clears throat> now, this is just gonna take a couple seconds to load. So I'll be back as soon as this is finished. Sweet, and so we are all finished and here is the final product. So let's actually just take a look at the two side by side. So here's the initial design. And then we have what Gemini created for us that took that exact design, but then also customized it to the exact use case that I was looking for, which is a form building software. So we can see like five active forms and 25 active forms. We have basic essential and growth plans. And so really, really cool stuff. Now I do want to point out that this works significantly better on simpler designs. Like if you're pacing in some really abstract, really complicated build, it's going to be much less accurate. So here's another example of a website that I liked and I wanted to clone. And so what I did was I literally just took a screenshot of the whole thing and then I dumped it into Google Gemini. And it got actually pretty close with most of the stuff. The one thing that it had a difficult time cloning was these like images over here, because these are like, I think, designed uh, through like a graphic designer. And so it didn't get these images perfectly, obviously, but nonetheless, I was still pretty happy with the design over there. It's just not 100% identical all the time if the designs are super difficult to be able to copy. So that is the first use case that we can build through something like Google. Gemini. Now we can actually take it a step further to an intermediate build where we can add in a whole suite of functionality onto something like Gemini 3. Now the beautiful thing about this model is that it's actually multi-modal and what that means is that it can accept multiple different formats like text, images, audio, video, all of that kind of stuff and you're getting like the whole suite of Google's products in one builder whereas if you were to go with an, another software like let's say Love it might not have built-in integrations for like databases and voice AI calling and all of these other um, third-party applications that you might want inside of it. So then you're stuck kind of like interweaving them all together. But with Gemini, it comes out of the box completely for free. So for example, we could take it one step further and add a voice AI agent onto this page. So I'm going to type in here. Also, can you please add a voice AI agent that the user can call in real time and have a conversation to ask questions about the pricing and get help choosing the right plan. So all of a sudden it will update this with an external, like with an additional service that if somebody is confused on 
what kind of package they're looking for, then they can just call in to an AI agent and then it will help problem solve whatever it is that they're stuck on and then give tailored solutions back to that actual person. This will just take a couple seconds to build out, but once it's done, I'll return back with the video. Cool, and so we're all set to go. Now, the first thing is, is you'll see this prompt over here. It says, allow this app to request access to the microphone. So we need to give permission to Gemini to be able to have a conversation with us. But we actually added in here, and I think unfortunately my face is kind of blocking this. It's this nice little widget over here where we can have full on phone calls with people. Hey, can you hear me? Yes, I can hear you clearly. How can I help you today? Yeah, awesome. I'm looking at the plans and I was just trying to figure out what's best for me. I was interested in having at least 30 forms on my site. What is the best plan that I should be uh, taking? The essential plan gives you up to 25 active forms. Since you need 30, the growth plan, which has unlimited forms, is probably the best choice. It also includes unlimited submissions and other great features. Are there any other features you're curious about? No, I also wanted integrations into like make.com or NIDEN or Zapier. Do you guys have access to that too? Yes, we support integrations with make.com and Zapier. Those are included in both the essential and growth plans. Does that help with your decision? Yeah, it does. Okay, awesome. Well, thank you very much. And so that's another use case that you could apply directly into Gemini 3. Instead of having to integrate in multiple third-party applications, you can do it from all within your app builder right here. Now, the third and final use case that I wanna share is the ability to connect Gemini into tens of thousands of other applications through a platform called NADN. So with NADN, essentially what this is, is it's an app, uh, it's an automation platform platform that allows you to integrate into 1,247 applications like Google Sheets or Gmail or, for example, Slack or Telegram or Airtable, Google Drive, and so on and so forth. Literally all of the popular apps that you're using on a daily basis anyways, you could integrate into via your Google Gemini application and so how we do this is we prompt the um, the web builder one more time so we could say i want to add a form under the pricing table where we ask for the user's name and email to be able to send them a quote through NADEN. when the user submits the form we need to send that data as a post request to this url and we're just essentially adding in a, an external url over here and we're also giving in some styling guides making sure that the form is in line so it's like in one direction as opposed to it being like underneath each other each field and so with that being said what's going on here is as soon as somebody fills out this quote form okay and they enter in their email and they enter in their phone number it's going to start this secondary workflow inside NADN and remember NADN is just an automation software that allows you to connect into thousands of other applications literally all the applications that you're currently using on your day-to-day -day basis most of them will connect into here and so let's walk through exactly how this works step by step as soon as somebody fills out this form down here, it's going to send the email and the first name or the full name over to this particular node inside NADN. A webhook is just, you can think about it like almost a doorbell. As, some, as soon as somebody rings the doorbell at your house, you come to the door. Or for example, when, you know, it's like a push notification on your phone too. When somebody tags you on an Instagram post, you're automatically going to get notified. And so with a webhook here, it's like an ear that's always listening 24 seven to incoming requests. And as soon as this form is Submitted, Gemini is going to send that request over to this webhook that's going to receive the information. We can take a look and see the information we received right down here, like the name and the email. And then what we can do is we can attach a Google Sheets node over here, which has access, by the way, to every previous node. Every node has access to the previous nodes. And so for that reason, when we open up this Google node here, we have access to the name and the email so that we can enter this information into our Google Sheet over here. The beautiful thing about this is that this references um, a key here, which contains dynamic information. So every time somebody fills out this form, the first time it could be John O'Catliff, next time it could be Bob uh, Smith, John Smith, and so on and so forth. Every new person, it will um, automatically enter in their 
custom information, right? So it'll always change every single time. And so we can add people into Google Sheets. And then the last thing here is of course, sending off an invoice, quote, proposal, whatever it is that you want. This is just, again, one example. There's like literally an infinite amount of solutions or possibilities with something like NADEN. But in a nutshell, what's going on here is that we are sending off a proposal via email, okay, to a user so that when they open their email, they can go ahead and view the proposal, sign it, they can pay if they want to, or do whatever it is that you're looking for them to do. Now, I'm gonna link down below to a video walking through how you can build out proposals and contracts and invoices inside and in automatically, uh, where you can take a look and see how this is exactly built. But just as a TLDR, essentially what's happening is we're sending this off to a CRM. In this case, it's Go High Level. We're just passing in the user's email and full name. And inside Go High Level, we are essentially Again, having a webhook waiting for that data to come through. As soon as that data is received, it's gonna create a contact in our CRM and then send off that document to their email. And then that's going to, that means they're gonna receive this, this agreement over here. And so, and so that's essentially the three use cases that we're gonna cover in this video. However, if you wanna go ahead and publish this, what you can do is you can hit the deploy app button right up top here, and you just need to select a cloud project to deploy on. Now, if you guys don't have a project and this is your first time I'm using the AI studio, you'll need to create a project which um, should be free to deploy, but they may ask you to connect a credit card payment in order for you to go ahead and set up your Google Cloud account. And you can just do this straight through the user interface right over here. So I'm just going to call this test and then we can go ahead and <clears throat> generate this project. So in this case, it might ask for like billing over here. I'm just going to choose something else and we're good to go. I can uh, deploy the app and view it live and then send this off to whoever else I want to send it off to. And so that's more or less it, guys. I really appreciate you watching. If you guys want to automate existing things in your business or in your life, I'd, I'd highly recommend taking a look at my YouTube channel because there's just so many countless videos covering all different ways on how you can automate all the things you're probably doing manually. And if you guys want to take it to the next level, I'd recommend taking a look at my school community here where there are three outcomes. Number one is to learn tools like Gemini 3 or NADEN or whatever whatever you know, AI automation tools you want to leverage so that you can win back your time and you can make money off of it. The second transformation of the, is for those of you who want to sell these tools to existing business owners. And there's literally countless people in this community that are doing that. For example, Mark just closed two deals very early on. Addy closed a $10,000 deal that's recurring every month for six months. So it's technically a $60,000 deal. Joseph signed a, or Joseph's doing $10,000 every single month. Sophie from Nigeria hit her first thousand dollars and so on and so forth. There's countless people in this community doing that literally every single day. And the third transformation is for those of you who already have an existing business and you want to automate everything that you're currently doing. In my previous business that I just sold, I was literally able to automate up to 80% of it scale to seven figures. And in this community, there's literally copy paste and deployable blueprints that are helping other users be able to do the exact same thing. And if all of this sounds too stressful and you just want a hands-off strategy where you don't have to kind of do anything, then you can also take a look at my automation agency over here where we literally build this for you and automate your existing business without you having to learn any of these tools. So thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you and bye-bye.